James Gunn's Superman wrapped filming this past summer, so the Warners already have a rough cut of the movie. Gunn himself mentioned that the film is watchable, and the visual effects are coming together faster than expected. This suggests that at least a few of the big scenes are fully finished, so DC just gave us a first look at one of them. In the image, you can see David Corensweet as Superman sitting on the moon with Crypto the dog. This photo officially confirms that Crypto will appear in the movie after earlier claims hinted he wouldn't. Recent buzz indicates that the Superdog is set to be one of the key characters, featuring plenty of screen time. Rumor has it that he'll even get his own cape and full suit by the end of the movie. This was allegedly one of the reasons James Gunn was so eager to include Crypto, considering his love for animals and his track record with characters like Rocket and Cosmo in Marvel. Let's not forget that Crypto is an important part of Superman's lore. The presence of animals in movies tends to resonate with audiences, tugging at those heartstrings like nothing else. But the live-action Crypto, as seen from behind, resembles a terrier breed, possibly a mix. He's got that fluffy coat and those perky ears giving off strong vibes of a Jack Russell Terrier or a Papillon. It's tough to pinpoint the exact breed. However, in classic stories, Crypto is depicted as a Labrador with short white fur. Judging by the scene, it's clear that the movie will be brighter and more colorful than Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. It's possible that this post from Warner Bros. is an attempt to divert fans' attention from the disaster that is Joker 2, which has become one of the biggest flops for a comic book movie. As for the final plot of Superman, details are still scarce, but at least we know from set photos that we'll be seeing a bunch of other DC characters, including Nathan Fillion's take on Green Lantern guy Gardner. Gunn described the movie as something new and fresh for the franchise. His vision for Superman is going to be drastically different from Snyder's take. According to the director, Clark will be the embodiment of hope, goodness, and all those things that are now seen as old-fashioned and overly idealistic. Throughout the story, he'll face moral challenges and debates sparked by modern approaches to fighting power and evil. While Lex Luthor, played by Nicholas Holt, is being teased as the main villain, Gunn hasn't confirmed anything concrete yet, so it's clear that Luthor won't be the true big bad of this film. That mysterious character in the Black suit who resembles Ultraman seems poised to challenge Superman on a physical level, but the heart of the movie lies in the battle of principles. Clark is going to be a beacon of light, standing for everything good in a world drowning in gray morals. Personally, I'm expecting a lot of philosophical reflections. I don't want a Superman that just turns into a dumb action with no deeper meaning, but I trust that James knows what he's doing. We're likely to get more details once the first official trailer drops. David Corenswit mentioned on the Manly Things podcast that some reveals could happen this year. According to him, the Superman marketing campaign will kick off in the Southern Hemisphere, hinting at a major presentation at Brazil's Comic-Con, which runs from December 5th to 8th, so there's a strong chance we'll see the first trailer around that time. The hype for Superman is massive, though it's already catching heat from Snyderverse fans who are slamming the upcoming movie before it's even out, accusing James Gunn of misunderstanding DC's visual style and atmosphere. Basically, many of the haters seem to think that if a director makes a comic book movie that's bright and colorful, it's automatically a Marvel copycat. And let's be real, people are still salty over how Warner Brothers, in an attempt to chase Disney's success, pretty much wrecked the DC Extended Universe in the process. At first glance, I get the criticism, it even sounds reasonable, but honestly, it's just wrong. DC isn't always about gloom, rain, and slow-mo. Even back in 2013, when Man of Steel came out, a lot of Superman fans hated Snyder's approach to the character. It was only over time that people started to appreciate it. Henry Cavill was perfect in the role, but killing him off in the second movie was definitely a terrible idea. So DCEU's failure was about much more than Zack Snyder. It was a complex problem with no clear direction for the franchise. Now we've got James Gunn, who directed the best trilogy in MCU. I wasn't a big fan of Peacemaker show, but the Suicide Squad was solid. Gunn has his own unique style, and his movies are undeniably different from other directors. Whether you like it or not, that's just a matter of taste. It's all about blending humor, vivid visuals, compelling with a deep drama. He has a knack for writing memorable characters, often turning to untypical or lesser-known heroes who don't fit the mold of boring good guys. His real talent lies in turning groups of misfits into tight-knit teams, and he excels at fleshing out their origins. Gunn's plots are full of sarcastic humor, but he masterfully balances that with deeper emotional moments, adding layers to his films. Expect all of this in Superman. He's also known for his excellent soundtrack choices, often using iconic tracks from the 80s to enhance the atmosphere of scenes and give them a unique vibe. The way he revives old genres and bands through his movies shouldn't be underestimated. Yeah, Gunn might switch up his usual approach, but something tells me Warner Brothers trusts him and is giving him creative freedom. New Superman will definitely stand out from previous adaptations. James plans to go back to the character's roots, presenting him as a symbol
symbol of hope and optimism who faces moral challenges in a world where such values aren't always appreciated. Unlike Snyder's darker take, Corn Sweat Soups will be brighter and more human while still delivering the spectacle and action we expect. The focus will be on Clark's inner struggle, torn between his Kryptonian heritage and his human upbringing. Expect both humor and heartfelt moments alongside epic scenes. Overall, Superman is set to hit theaters on July 11th, 2025. Subscribe.